This video is on wireless 802.11 standards, frequencies, and range. Radio frequency channels are an important part of wireless communication. A channel is a band of RF used for the wireless communication. There are different IEEE wireless standard that specifies the channels that can be used. The 802.11a standard specifies radio frequency between 5.15 and 5.875 GHz. And in contrast, 802.11b and 802.11g standards operate in the 2.4 to 2.497 GHz range. 802.11n, known as the Wi-Fi 4, can operate in either 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz ranges. And 802.11ac, known as Wi-Fi 5, operates in the 5 GHz range. While 802.11ax, known as the Wi-Fi 6, can use 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz ranges. Hertz is the standard of measurement for radio frequency. It's used to measure the frequency of vibrations and waves, such as sound waves and electromagnetic waves. 1 Hz is equal to 1 cycle per second. RF is measured in kilohertz, megahertz, or gigahertz. As far as channels are concerned, 802.11a has wider frequency band, enabling more channels and therefore more data throughput. As a result of wider band, 802.11a supports up to 8 non-overlapping channels. 802.11bg standards use the smaller band and support only up to 3 non-overlapping channels. It is recommended that non-overlapping channels be used for communication. In the US, 802.11b and g standards use 11 channels for data communication. Channels 1, 6, and 11 are non-overlapping. Most manufacturers set their default channel to one of the non-overlapping channels to avoid transmission conflicts. And with wireless devices, you can select which channel your wireless LAN operates on to avoid interference from other wireless devices that operate in the 2.4 GHz frequency range. Note that overlapping channels can disrupt wireless communications. Many environments, there's multiple access points. And sometimes they're too close to each other. Signal disruption results if channel overlap exists between the access points. The solution is try to move the access points to avoid overlap problem or to change channels to one of the other non-overlapping channels. Typically, you would change the channel of wireless device only if it is overlapped with another device. If the channel must be changed, it must be changed to another non-overlapping channels. When you're troubleshooting a wireless problem in Windows, you can use the ipconfig command to see status of IP configuration. If you're using Linux, use ifconfig. You can look at important information like the link quality, access point MAC address, data rate, and encryption keys, which can be useful in ensuring that all parameters in the network are consistent.